every year about this time, everybody gets uh, the itch to get back. Coming off a very successful off-season program, getting an opportunity to see some of the new players that we were able to bring in. Uh, the coaches get an opportunity to tweak some things from a schematic standpoint. We're all running bubbles one at a time. Bubbles one at a time, one quarterback's up at a time. Ball's on that hash. That's gotta be a good ball, oh, and it is. Nice shot. With the ownership and providing us the building that we're in here at Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center, and all of the things that we're able to utilize down in the training room. Having training camp in a facility like this has made um, training camp probably a little bit more efficient. But I know, you know, down when we were in Mankato for the last 52 years, um, that was a great place to have a camp as well. Basically, the evaluation process of who potentially is going to make our 53-man roster, uh, who's going to make our practice squad, those are things that we've been doing since they, we started our off-season program. Now, the next step here is to see them in training camp and to see if guys continue to climb up that depth chart or if some of them start to falter back and other guys rise to the occasion. Part of our job is to look at all the position battles. For example, at receiver, you know, we've got Thielen and we've got Diggs. So how's that going to play out the roster behind that? Uh, the offensive line with all the new additions that we added there. We've got a great competition going at the backup quarterback spot, who's going to be Kirk Cousins' backup. What you want to see, especially on the defensive side, some of these young guys that we drafted last year, they may have not have contributed as much to the team last year as they were developing, but this year is usually when you see the big jump in them. Uh, Hercules is an example of a guy who missed last year with an ACL, but has really shown up during the OTAs. And can he carve out a spot or can he carve out his niche on this roster to help us uh, win football games? So got a sense of kind of where this team is, but now we actually get to see them uh, play real football, get the pads on. And I know uh, with the leadership of Coach Zimmer uh, to get our edge back and, and uh, look forward to a very successful season.